and let it marinate. It's time to hustle, gotta muscle up and run through barricades. Yeah. She's looking so clean. Black is the best color when it's clean. I'm so happy with how this car looks right now. In the recent days, we've gained quite a few subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Rex. I make videos on my 1997 Toyota MR2. Toyota? Toyota? We are doing an engine swap on the car. However, on the side, I've been collecting a few little modifications that I can do while I'm hung up with things that I need to wait for, such as the wiring harness, which is currently being done by Wood Sport in the UK. So thank you to Paul, who's doing that for me. So we can't really do anything on the engine right now. We just got to wait for that harness and then continue. Anyway, let's talk about the mod that we're going to be installing today. This is going to change the whole entire feel of the car and I'm not exaggerating it. See what we have in the package over here. Sent over by Superclass. Thank you very much. This is going to be so good. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Ooh, got some weight to this. Ooh, I don't know why but there's so many trucks going past. Man, come on bro. So let's take a look what is inside these beautiful boxes. Ooh. The shifter, check this out. So here we have a weighted perforated leather shifter and oh my God, this is actually so nice. What else have we got here today? We have the trim bezel, the shift boot. Oh God, need two hands. So I went ahead and purchased a whole runabout shifter assembly from this site called superclass.com. I'll leave that link in the description below. But I've actually ordered a part of this before. I've got a C's short shifter in the MR2, which is pretty much a replica of like an old style shifter that they used to sell back in the day that they don't sell anymore. Wow, thanks, Superclass. You guys even sent me some free gifts. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh, they sent me the e-brake boot cover to match my whole thing. So for those who don't know, Superclass makes a variety of products for not only MR2s, but they do have some really good MR2 stuff. Obviously like, obviously like this shift knob and various other products. I highly recommend you go check them out. I don't know how I actually came across them, but it looks 10 times better than what's actually in the car. I'll go show you in a second, but wow, the quality on this is so nice. That finish is so good. So this is why we're actually replacing this whole shifting assembly. Oh, it's hot in here. As you can see, my current setup is the OEM setup. This boot is just a fat, ugly boot that has a hole in it. Um, people like this OEM shifter. I don't mind it too much. It's just that you can see there's a lot of wear on this. The shift knob itself isn't really that heavy. There's just a lot to complain about when it comes to this. It's just, it's just old and it needed to be replaced. You can see it's just, it's seen better days. I mean, 20 years of this rubber boot moving around. We need to get rid of this. You can see with this, it actually completely changes the design of the OEM shifter. So on the MR2 right now, it's got like a square shift boot, whereas this has like a round assembly. Um, and you can see that this shift boot is really nice. But look at that, it's all red stitching, exactly how I wanted it. It also took a little bit of time to come because every order of these shifting assemblies needs to be made by them. And you can actually customize this to the different thread that you want, the different bolts that you have in here. Obviously you can change the thread on this. So I obviously chose red, as you can see. It's not gonna focus, but I'll do a cinematic later. Thank you guys so much for this. This is this is awesome. I always wanted like a little keychain for my keys, for my MR2 keys. Might have to get the logo on the front as well. So because I have the C's short shifter as well, I'm gonna need to use a bigger drop plate to clear this whole entire uh, replacement shifter assembly. It looks like I use this, so, so there you go. They even like put like a little sticker telling me exactly what to do. Honestly, amazing. Honestly, amazing. All right, we're gonna go ahead, move the MR2 in, install this, and I'll show you some before and afters. If you do have the OEM shifter, you won't actually have to use this at all, but because I've got the C shifter, I gotta go ahead and replace it, and replace the drop plate with this drop plate. have Mr. Nathaniel here as well. Where are you going, Nathan? Dude, I want... 
Nathan, no, come back. We... For being AliExpress, it's oh. pretty good quality. <laughs> the reviews are pretty good. I read them on Alibaba. <laughs> One thing that's super convenient about working on the MR2's interior is the fact that you can remove the roofs. So we've got the tiger tops off and we'll be able to easily... Oh, what's this? My leaky, leaky boys. <laughs> My leaky rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said before, this is what we're going to be replacing. When we're going to be replacing this whole shifter assembly. This is all going to come out, but we do need to put that drop plate in uh, to rise, well, lower the C short shifter because it does interfere um, stock. So that's why you get that plate. Um, so that's just going to be a little bit of a hassle taking that all apart, but it, should it shouldn't take longer than 10 minutes or so. Photo on my Instagram, Pagan Passat, as you can see. It's a nice photo. And it, my car is so long, it doesn't fit in the frame, right? So this fucking bot or something decides to comment, <laughs> but it does fit it in your heart. <laughs> what the hell? Virgin Vanilla. Virgin Vanilla. <laughs> Nathan and I have gone ahead and removed the shifter assembly. Oh, why is this up? So it doesn't roll. We don't want it. We don't care. Um, and this is the plate that we're talking about. This plate here is the one that we need to replace with the thicker one because this plate don't, doesn't give us enough clearance for the new shift for this new shift boot. It actually fouls on here if you don't have this plate. But they supply you with this plate if you do if you do tick the fact that you have a C's short shifter. You can actually option that. They also give you plates depending on your shifter. So if you have the OEM one, they obviously won't give you one. If you have the TRD shifter, then they'll give you one too. But this is the one that we're going to need. And I'm pretty sure we just placed this one over. Off. Yeah, that's it. And then chuck that one over the top. Oh, you, you use both. Actually, we can use both. So it raises it up even more. Yeah. And then we have like a, a very good clearance. So we're having a slight fitment issue well, you can see that we've already marked here where it's hitting. It's not the worst thing, it just needs to be shaved just there and a little bit under here there's a little bit of a lip where this is. So we're just going to go ahead and shave it with the Dremel and it should go on all well. After this monstrosity, we now have another person here, Hello. Mr. Andrew. Hello, is this video going up tonight? No, Friday. Big things are happening aren't they Andrew? Uh, that's not going to be in the video. No, you can beep it. Can no, beep yeah, thing. I am. I am buying a white. <laughs> you know what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sneak peek. Proper honest opinion on yes. what do you think of this this whole assembly? It fits. It reverse. <laughs> well, that's fine. Like that's not even that bad. But like, I, it fits the era. It's not too modern. It fits it's OEM car. plus. <laughs> Holy. Oh my God! Stop. You're becoming <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> So if you guys remember what we had before, this is now our upgraded version of our shifter assembly and it looks much better. You're a wizard, Harry! <laughs> it looks much better than this. <laughs> Slytherin! Slytherin! It's an autistic party hat. <laughs> oh, no, I was gonna, I'm gonna get my bike, it's my it's helmet. So we're gonna talk about quality and uh, how it makes me feel. But you can see this shifter. I really like how this looks with all the red stitching and everything. You can see the ear brake stitching as well. It's all red and it all matches my car because obviously I have the rear red strut bars in the front. And this also helps as well. So it all matches. We still need to go ahead and put this glove box back because obviously we need a glove box. <laughs> what am I saying? So we do have a few clearance issues if we go to reverse. It does kind of knock here, but there's nothing there's nothing we can't do with the Dremel. We can't just grind that away and get it all good. But it looks really good and because of the weighted shifter, it's really nice to shift and it feels really good. Damn, it actually looks so good. You can get these screws as well in whatever color you want. So if you want this shift assembly and this C's short shifter as well, make sure you go check out Superclass. Link will be in the description. They specialize in shifters and all their stuff is really good quality. Like I said, I'm using obviously the C short shifter, the shift assembly too. But damn, looks really good. All right. Might be, Andrew. Sado. Dude, imagine yeah. if you had to sit in one of these like seven hours because you're like buying ones like, or buying something somewhere. That'd like, be so annoying, Imagine right? like. I'm going to put this scope on my head so you guys can see how the shifter goes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Sure am. There we go. Oh, fuck him up. 
This is just NA as well. I got a Tigers in the boot, so I can't really like go around corners real hard. I'm so. not depressed. Oh. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Whether you two can see your face right now. Old lady. Yeah, I gotta take corners real slow because Tigers are in the back. How nice is this, Andrew? So, wait, let me understand. You can take the targets up, but you can't drive fast. With them well, you, you can take if you put them in the right spot. It's just they like got these explode speakers in. Explode. There you go. See, I don't know if you guys can see this, but shifter feels really good. I'm just got the GoPro in my head, so you guys can see me using it. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it, Andrew? Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, this video was all over the place, of course. Guys, check this out. Got a brand new setup. Well, I got a brand new PC case. Just put it all together myself not too long ago. Not bad, not bad. Today was all over the place. I've been extremely busy, had work in the morning, and I need to go to bed because we have some crazy stuff happening tomorrow. I don't know if you guys got the hint throughout the video, but Andrew and I are doing something in a pretty crazy that's going to be adding to this channel tremendously. So you will see this video when Andrew and I are currently on the way to get something really cool. I don't want to tell you guys yet, but I think it'll be Monday's video or Wednesday's video. I need to see what happens, see if I can manage to get that up. Some really exciting stuff is coming your way. We've been grinding these videos out, trying to get those three videos out a week. I'm just picking you up because I don't know it's easier to film like this, but the support that I've been receiving over the past couple of videos is incredible. I didn't think that you guys would be right onto the MR2 build stuff. Like, I didn't think it'd be, you know, so sudden, but it is getting a lot of views. It's good. Yeah, I thought I'd just say thank you. Also, a massive shout out to the patrons as well who are supporting the build. If you are a Patreon, I really appreciate that because the modifications that I'm doing, the engine swap, all of that is possible because of you. You really are contributing quite a bit to this build and I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, I gotta get up at like 4.30 a.m. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy.